Hey guys. She did it again. Did you see her? I know. She oh, went with the full. I like it. Oh, I like it. That was good. We're talking about stuff that you can get all for under half a Benjamin. Do you know what a Benjamin is? Yes, it's What's a hundred dollar bill. Uh, yes, under fifty bucks. Everything on the table is going to be under fifty Who bucks. Was he surprised that you? I knew know, that? right? I don't know. Some, I thought it was going to be a great different answer for some reason. <laughs> what? Half a Benjamin. Oh, I got like a half that Benjamin button disease. It's all good. Exactly. See, that's <laughs> where I thought maybe she would go with it. He has that for real. Have you seen the trailer for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? He's officially now younger than Leo DiCaprio. That's great. Maybe he'll be back for Guys Talk <laughs> Knives. It's time to start the show, guys. What's up, guys? We have a great show for you today. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Look Bam! at them. They're yeah. branded today. Actually, I'm branded on the hat. Yeah, you are. Um, we sell this. I'm like right double now. here. We sell that. Right? You are double on this thing, right? You can yeah, get level. this, or you could have gotten this. Yeah. <laughs> I think by the time this show, uh, this show was airing. Yes, you of probably course, already. You know, if you were Blade Show, you've already gotten. I, I this. said right before we started, we can't talk about Blade yes. Show, and then we just have to refer I to the about Blade Show. We Blade Showed. <laughs> she's she's got on the Blade Show T-shirt. <laughs> you've got on the Vendor Rep Weekend T-shirt from last, last year. year. Yes, yes, we are all branded. Yeah, one of those. Free shirts galore, man. Free stuff do. out there. Oh, do you? I do. Oh, cool. Let's yeah, go. I stole it myself. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, appropriately, we're talking budget-friendly knives. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to actually steal them. We can actually pay a little for them and get something well, great. that's good. Yeah. yeah. You can. Or you could not. You're going to get fired. <laughs> And since I'm your boss, you shouldn't tell things like they're, that in front of me. They're gonna send you away. Shh. Not Where? to the not to the scary place. <laughs> I don't I don't even want to know. I, <laughs> it's it's I down, down by the chair thing, you know, in the place with oh the thingy. Yeah. That you know, the knife on. cave. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you have to go time out. The timeout chair is the iron throne in the I'm knife cave. I'm fine with that. Yes. I'll go uh, sit timeout for an hour. That is hilarious. Let's jump into these yeah. because we have we got some cool stuff on the table. Honey badger, back on the show. I think we can just stop. That was like honey badger. <laughs> it's the French version. It is. I think after you talk about the honey badger, you can just quit. Uh, it's like that, man. These are rolling it's, out of here big time. It's my favorite new thing that we have. This You didn't clean your greasiness off of this. You're the one that was playing with it. That's I it, did, and you took the cloth away did, from us. I Maybe we would have cleaned it. I did not Thank touch you, this Jason. outer edge thing. <laughs> so this is what, the Honey Badger Large? Yes, this you is the Large in tan. Mm -hmm. Though I think they call it sand, but either way, it's brown. So the Honey Badger Pound Sand? That is not it brown. Does. It's more very, brown than it is black. I see that as gold, like the old plastic fake Fisher Price gold. Oh wow, you both are wrong today. Look you at know that. what I'm talking about? Do you remember like you would get like the little toy in the box, and it was supposed to be like a gold coin or a gold chest, and it was basically this color? It is kind of Playmobil gold. Yes, exactly. It is. Exactly. That's what I was. No, that's right. what I was after. Yes, you are. Hit the specs on this thing because we've okay. hit Honey Badger before, but this thing is awesome. But yeah, you've got to show them off. So uh, this is the Honey Badger Flipper Large, uh, 3.6 inch 8CR 13 MOV drop point blade. Um, it's an FRN handle. It's got a flipper slash thumb hole opener. Um, 4.6 inches overall, 8.2, uh, 4.6 inches closed, 8.2 inches overall, tip up pocket clip, and it's a honey badger and it's 36 bucks and it literally is my favorite new it, thing. The opening have. is just awesome. Yeah. It's and my favorite new brand. Three different sizes, three different colors. Yeah. And the price point just can't be beat. I love this thing. I like that actually with this one I can do that. Which I can almost never. Oh, I jinxed myself. You did that. I can almost never do. You did it before the show. See if you can do it now. It has terrific oh, action. The three sizes are all definite sizes. It's not like we're talking half an inch yeah. difference here. They're all definite from small to medium to large. Um, the weight with the handle very reduced. I. I we had a guy. It. We had a guy on in the SMPW army say that he got one, just not believing that it was going to be any good. Mm -hmm. Sure. He got it because of the price point. What was the price point again? It's 36 bucks. 36 bucks. He said, let's do it. For a heck of a night. He carries it every single day. Now. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it, it's one of those that after you get it, you don't feel bad about almost abusing it. Right. For the price point. Right. It, it's worth it. I mean, I, I don't, I can't say that. Most time we show new brands, it's like we push them just a little bit. You don't have to with Honey Badger. No. No, it's really nice. Yeah. I mean, if I can do it. That's the thing. I think mean, that is the key to it. I think every that we'll time. see we have other styles of theirs coming in. Yeah. 
Um, you can get like a good <laughs> snap. John's on got. <laughs> John, John came in here to show us that he has. Yes, his honey he has badger. his honey badger. What size did you get? Uh, small. Small. John got the oh, small. Medium. 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 Yeah. John got the medium. Forget honey what badger. Jared got. Jared bought the very first one in the showroom because he's the nice. one who tracked these things down. They're South African, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, they're they're Africa. really really cool. Can we do the Afrikaans accent, South Africa? I can do English. That was pretty close. That, that, was, bad, yeah. that was my Lethal Weapon three voice. Let's <laughs> say, were you going for for DiCaprio and Blood Diamond? Your diplomatic immunity has just been revoked. <laughs> diplomatic immunity. And oh, can you? Can you? Yeah. Why do you do this? You got that's stabbed. the only way to open a knife. <laughs> I stabbed myself opening a knife the wrong way. Actually, it did open. Did you see that she, did. Went, she went like full fear arm like this? She did. I did. I don't know what you're going to do. That just is, it's, it's just a solid knife. For 36 bucks, you can't beat it. No. You just cannot beat it. And I love the honeycomb on the side. So here's what I want to say to you guys out in the SMKW Army right now when you watch this show. If you've got a honey badger, send us a picture of you with your honey yeah, badger. Yeah, for sure. Uh, show, us with you, show us you and your knife, and we'll post it on our Facebook. Yeah, no doubt. Tell us what their names are, too. We know you name your knives. <laughs> Felix. <laughs> Felix the, Felix the honey badger. Felix the knife. I'd be it. like Harry the honey badger. Harry the honey badger. <laughs> that's the honey badger. Yeah, 36 bucks. We're going to show you something new from Kershaw next. Yes, indeed. Brand. This is the misdirect. This is part of that budget line from um, from Kershaw. Yeah. Uh, and it's speed safe assist. I think this is a pretty little knife. It's, it's a great knife. podcast land. Kind of what this looks like. i got to get that out of my shot. John's gonna come in here and get this. So nice it is a very shot. traditional modern folder. Uh, you have a flipper. <laughs> you have an oxymoron a... all by itself. Oxymoron. Wow. It, you it are really kind of is. You're going to the knife cave after this. But <laughs> you've I got. I always thought it was oxymoron. It is oxymoron, it is, and yeah. I mispronounced it. Thank you so oh. much. How dare you? <laughs> Great job, swags. <laughs> this is an atypical. Yes. Modern folder. Is that better? <laughs> that is. Um, you've got a flipper. You've got speed safe assist on it. Um, it's a reverse tanto. It's a reverse tanto, and it just, I mean, it has all those points you really want in a modern folder. You've got a lanyard hole, you've got a pocket clip, you've got all those pieces that you look for. This is, if you're listening on the podcast, just, you're talking about a uh, gray handle, steel handle, you're talking about uh, stonewash finish, I believe, Jason. Yes. And good jumping, but this thing kind of reminds me of like, Streamlined like that modernized jet look. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, completely. It, it's jet streamed. I the jet yeah. um, That too. Nice jumping on the spacer back here. Nice jumping up on the edge of the blade. You've got the tip down pocket clip. Tip up good. pocket clip. Sorry. And it's 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 reversible, so you can go side. You know, you can go left or right yeah. with it. Yeah, it is ambidextrous. Yes, it is not reversible. That's right. Oh, it oh, is it's reversible. It is reversible. Reversible on one side. Wow. That's wild. That's very Check it out. Check it out. So we are reversible on as a right-hander. You can go tip up, tip down on this side. Well, as a left-hander, you cannot go tip up, tip down. I would guess because of the speed safe is somewhere in there. Yeah, probably. And it probably would would mess with that. Yeah, probably. I like it. So yeah. hit the specs so they know how long and everything this is. So on the blade, it's a black wash, two point nine inch, four CR thirteen reverse tanto blade. Of course, speed safe assist, like we talked about. Uh -huh. uh, stainless steel handle with a stone wash finish. Frame lock, a three position pocket clip. Uh, close length of four inches, overall length of 6.8, and it weighs 3.2 ounces, so it weighs very, <laughs> very little. Rockefeller, if you see this, that's right. 3.2 ounces. 3.2 ounces. And of course, speed safe assist. It's as fast as it that. can be. What yeah. was the price point? Um, $25. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's Kershaw, part of that Kershaw for, budget line. 25 bucks with a frame 25 lock. Bucks. Yeah. Uh, you know, and people people want to complain about steels. They want to go, oh, the CR steels, oh, this, oh, that. I'm going to tell you, you're not going to know the difference <sighs> on that. I mean, if you're a guy who is totally sharpening your blade all the time, if you're that sure. guy, and uh, you might notice a difference. But if you're doing what most of us would do with the misdirect, which is open your mail. Yeah, open, open a box a from Amazon. Yes. Cut up a bottle. Yeah. That's right. Is that just me? Cleaning your fingernails. Right. Drain the blood of your mortal yeah. enemies. I'm sorry, that's just oh me. God, no, that'll work. Yeah. No, this will work for that. Yeah. Um, I mean, this could be Force a stab of full are. knife if you had to. Double but there's goodness. nothing There's nothing at all wrong with it. I like the um, belly on that blade. I do. I, I like just about everything about it, including the price point. I mean, it just is... It's new. It's nice. The pocket clip is very, very slim. I... So doesn't it look like that decibel that we played with? Just it like does. a more chunk version of the decibel? 
a more closed off version of the decibel. I like it the does. I like the feel of the opening too. It's not it, it, it clicks in place. You know that it's that right. it's open. That's speed safe for yeah. you right there. And yeah. at twenty five bucks, I mean come twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. You can't touch it for that. That's can't great. Touch this. Do, 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 do. Thank you, MC Hammer. You're welcome. That Please hammer, it. don't hurt do, do. him. <laughs> You better pray Sorry. I don't come up with something else to say. <laughs> uh, that is the misdirect. 25 yes. bucks. We already did the Honey Badger Large, which was 36 bucks. Um, if you don't this was know, right in the middle of the two. Yeah, and if you don't know <laughs> that CRKT worked with um, Ruger. Yes. So they have a, they have, with yeah, the right here in front of me, and I'm having to think about it. And they put out, <clears throat> out ooh, watch that. I almost got myself don't right there. I almost got myself. That yeah. is. To me, feels that's the most dangerous thing for me is when there's assisted opening with a thumb stud. To until me, you get used to it. Until yeah. you get used to it. Until you find how to do it. This is the, what is the name of this? The one? Ruger Trajectory. Trajectory. All of these Ruger names are like very oh, yeah. bullet worthy. V very, very, yeah, names. very firearms oriented. Uh, so this is the Ruger tra uh, Traject, I can't say it. Trajectory. trajectory. I'll get the word out in a minute. Uh, 3.25. 3.235 inch. It's okay. <laughs> HCR 13. I know, right? <laughs> HCR 13 MOV drop point blade. Um, ambidextrous thumb studs. <clears throat> does it? No. No, it doesn't. No, it is. It is because it has the screw. Oh, I was about yeah, to say. Yeah. That is so a lie. It, it is not a lie. You can actually unscrew that and put it on the other side. Very cool. Uh. You can reverse it yourself. Um, outburst assisted opening, which is of course what what C C R K T is calling the assisted opening. This one is outburst uh -huh. uh, stainless steel handle, frame lock, just a a good solid knife. It's, it's almost seven inches overall. It weighs about four ounces. What do y'all think of that grind on that blade? You know, I like the grind. I like okay, so the swags. I don't know if we've ever talked about the grind, but the grind yeah. is what you're taking out of the blade. So yeah. see that whole big curve. Oh, no, no, I was looking design. at it. That looks really cool. I like, like... This is a swedge up top, mm -hmm. and this is the grind here down to the edge right there. I think it, like, all in all, is a very pretty knife. It almost looks like yeah. a futuristic kind of feel it to it. It does. You know? To me, it's very aggressive, too. <laughs> it is. Yes. I, what I like even more than the blade, I like the accents on the handle. That's I what too. I was thinking. Yeah, you've got this little, this little flow, those three waves. Did you see microprocessor end. here? Oh, big mm -hmm. time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought that was very cool. And those are sculpted on this side. Yeah. You get a little bit of get a little bit of grip off your scope. Just a right just there. a really good. Are they on the back as well? No, they no, are okay. not. It's just plain there with yeah, the frame with lock. the frame lock. Yes, I, I like it. I'm gonna sometimes, pass it around. Sometimes it's like you got to find that that nice medium between all of those extra gadgets and all the extra looks to it. Oh and sure. Just having like a really nice knife, and this yeah. is. You know, it's got the details to it, but I think it's still just like a very clean kind of style. I think knife. that's a very gentleman type aggressive knife. Do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's it could it's yeah. aggressive looking in its overall look, but it also yeah. is very clean and classic. Huh? Hit the table with it, but it opened. Um, <laughs> Jason's goes thump. <laughs> but you know, I I agree with I agree with you though. Okay. It, it it doesn't. It doesn't go in for all the bells and whistles. It's just like, okay, no, we're just a good solid knife. We've right. got speed safe, we're open with the frame lock. It's just, it's nice and solid. I mean, that frame lock, and that frame lock moves well. Yeah. Easy one hand opening on that. Yep. And closing, so I, I, I like it. CRKT makes a great product. Always. Um, and these Ruger knives are a little bit different. If you go on, excuse me, if you go on smkw.com and you look in the uh, CRKT section, you're gonna yeah. find, Quite a few different Ruger knives. Exactly. They're there, and they all feel just a little bit different from the regular CRKT line. Yeah. Easy way to do that is to filter that down is to go type in Ruger in the search bar at the top. Yep. And then filter down just the CRKT, so you mm -hmm. get uh, at all of the, the firearm accessories and stuff too. Nice. And it's disappeared. Are you stealing it's warm. that? Did, your little baby hands. No, it's it warm. It is a. It is just a good solid EDC. Ding. I, I like, like it, it a lot. Yeah. What was the price point? I forgot. Thirty-five bucks. Thirty-five bucks. A little bit less than the Honey Badger. A little bit more than the Kershaw. Yeah. I just like that blade shape. I did too. Yeah. It almost hits that upswept that I like so much. I was about to say it has it has that. I just am so drawn <laughs> to that. I have no. I like that upswept. That's so your I really thing. Like Scares blades. the yeah. out of me. You like tanto blades? I really like tanto blades. Nice. That and those like leaf shaped ones that look cool. That was fun. Yes. Yeah. I feel like if I threw that, it would really go exactly where I'm wanting it to go. I think we need to teach you knife throwing. I think you should. And not me. We've got somebody down in the showroom who probably could. Yeah. I think we get Eric to do it. Yeah. 
Um, I'm not good at it. I can, I can throw a spear. My Let me touch on this there. for a second because it just came to mind. When you get your knives from us, you're going to notice, and they're like the outburst assist and that kind of stuff. They've been closed since the factory. This is such a good point. They've yes. been closed in fact. Even your misdirect here is going to have been closed since it left the factory. The more you work this just a little bit, the better that's going to get. It needs to get broken in. Like and boots. I know. Oh, go ahead. I, I stepped around like a good pair of boots. Uh, no, it's exactly it's right. I know you've seen this in the showroom. Mm -hmm. The people who go through and they will <clears throat> have every Rough Rider, every Kershaw out, and they're going through all of them looking for the one that, that works the right. best. The one that probably pops open the best is probably the demo. Yeah, demo. because it's been used it's been over used. and over again. So when I yeah. first opened this up uh, a few days ago, it was it was tight. Sure. It, it did not want to give that play, but now the more I've sat here and just doing that, it is getting easier yeah. and easier to do that outburst assist. You don't usually have that with an automatic? No. Automatics, because of the way the, the tension is on the spring or whatever right. device is it opens, it's, it's different. They will um, open. They well, will open. I mean, that's a great point. Scientifically speaking, just that's the way they're they, designed. They're designed that it is only the the spring is not made to hold it closed. Exactly. It is already wanting to be open the whole time. The whole time. This spring is both forward and backward. Yeah. So it is it's been left in and it's direction. wanting to be cold. Yes, exactly. Uh, closed. Exactly. At that point. I'm okay. learning more stuff and every day. No, that's awesome. You're doing great. Doing great. Speaking of great, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, is a great place to shop oh, for knives. Yes, it is. Bigger, bigger. How many, how many products are we up to on that? Uh, right 25,000 some odd. Holy cow. Yeah, it's a lot. And, and we've, not, added, but... we've added brands recently. So, uh, and I can't say it right. Perella? 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 Molina? Molina. Am I saying that right? What is the Proelia? Proelia. Proelia. Um, I, and that may be wrong too. I don't know, but that's that we've added that recently. We've added Honey Badger recently. Um, it, it's been really fun to see the the various brands we put on this year. I think it's hilarious the various names that you get. Everything that's like a name like that to like ZT is O two two. Like they're very yes. like clean cut. That's your knife. That's it. Yeah, it's, other it's knives, always a number. Yeah, other knives they want you to like. They want you to work for that name. What's so funny is <laughs> exactly I only right remember now. Proelia because we sat and laughed at that in the office with Jared and all of us because we were doing it with the full on um, steel magnolias. Oh. Well, Proelia. See, I figured you were about to say you went all Italian on it. <laughs> Proelia. <laughs> Get your Proelia. You gotta put your Proelia in your spaghetti It is spaghetti a funky sauce. looking word when you look at it. Yeah. But, uh, go look at that that brand on the website because those are they're really really cool. They are neat. Yeah. They are very neat. Make sure you're liking, sharing, and subscribing to these videos. That's how we get in front of more people. Uh, if you want to go on and go to the uh, SMKW Army page that's on our that's site me. now, you'll find all of our listings for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, all of those things that are out it's there. It's a fun time to be involved in our social media. I mean, we've got by far the best people involved in our social media. Thank they're, you, yeah. they're fun. They're interesting. They're always they're they're very helpful. Mm -hmm. and, and there's no fun. knife shaming. Yeah, I mean so it, it's great. I drop that. I drop a question every day onto Facebook and on uh, across all of social media each day around six forty six forty five a.m. The other day we dropped a question that I thought was just going to be a meh. We'll answer it. Some people will answer it. I had a hundred and twenty responses to that question in the first hour. That's great. That tells you what kind of participation we're getting with the SMKW sure. Army. But you can go to SMKW dot com slash SMKW Army, you're going to find all of our listings so you can yeah. follow. Make sure you're going there because we're doing a giveaway on Facebook and a giveaway on Instagram every single week. Don't yeah. stop. If you watch the live, we're doing a giveaway on the live of Guys Talk Knives. So go join us there. Make sure you're following and all of that stuff in uh, watching this show and sharing it with your friends. It's just a great place to be. Yeah, for sure. Let's jump back into this. Yeah, because I'm interested. This one I had not played I, with I, until today. Cold Steel, come on. Yeah, I had not played with this until today, though, and I we love it. We geek out over Cold Steel, uh, and this is going to be the Bush Ranger. I want to know how many. And it's the Bush Ranger light. Don't give me that look. I want to know how, how many pigs, manila ropes, were <laughs> stabbed right here so John and can, cut John in half get with back that in knife. Focus. I think I'm getting lost on this part. I don't, what are you talking about? Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> we have a rabbit hole for you to fall down later on YouTube. And we've told you this before. Go so we're gonna okay. make sure you hear it this time. Lynn Thompson and Cold Steel on okay. YouTube. Into YouTube. Yes. Get something to drink. And make sure you move. Make sure like you go. No, no. Make sure <laughs> you've gone to pee before you start. Yeah, because you're gonna be there for about two hours. Right. 
at least. So for years, they've made these videos where they cut things like rope, like pig heads, like sides of beef. They've done crazy Everything. stuff yeah. on the cold steel. Meat shoes, which is a shoe made of meat. meat. Yeah. Not made of. Oh, full, full of, of meat. Yes. Yeah, so it's like being stabbing somebody through the foot. They're they're uh, and then at Blade Show you'll get to see him. Most likely he'll be there cutting is stuff. Is he up gonna Blade stab Show. my foot? No, but no. if you could get a short your story, or you may have gotten it already. Yes, <laughs> we're in the future. I keep thinking that too. I know, right? So at Blade Show you saw Lynn Thompson. No. Did he stab my foot? Am I recovering? He is no, a trip. You're fine. He is a trip. He, he is. found He's his cold fantastic. steel and all of these things. The Bush Ranger knife, which I've got right here, the light version yeah. of this. So they have the full version of this. Which is much bigger. Uh, uh, she is pointing at the safety. I'm going to bring it down yeah. here and we'll talk about it. Uh, they have a, the full version of this is in the hundreds, hundred feet. Fifty hundred sixty two dollars yeah. range because of the steel and it has a a much a much different handle than yeah. this. But this is the light version. That's a safety switch, so it's going to lock this thing. I don't know if it locks it. Oh, the it locks, the, it, locks it locks it closed. The, yeah, yeah, locks it closed. So we've got the safety switch on the side. If I put that in, I can't get this yeah. open. But that's why it locks it open too, though. You Does can't it? you can't disengage the lock back. Oh, you're right. Yeah, very nice. It's cold steel. Hmm. It's cold steel. It's, cold it's steel. already got a heck of a lock though. Um, hit the specs yeah. on this one, Jason. So, so like any cold steel, this is a beefy knife. I mean, it, it feels good in your hand. It's it's a nice, big, strong lock back. Um, you're looking at a 3.5 inch 8CR13 MOV clip point blade. And look at the clip out of that. Look yeah. at that sweep in that clip. The swedge on the oh. top, too. It's good looking. Oh, yeah. Um, you've got a rocker lock, mm -hmm. a thumb stud opener. Um, it is 0.15 inches thick. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I mean, so just, over an eighth. Yeah, just a just a chunk of a knife. Uh, glass filled nylon handle. It's about it's almost five ounces. Um, so you're gonna know it's in your hand. Eight point four inches overall. A little bit under five inches close. What's funny is the uh, the weight in that is all in the blade because all that the blade. handle is that totally handle weighs light. nothing. Yeah, yeah, you can you can see there's the. Um, and like all that. cold stills, when they designed this, they put it through its paces. So yeah. they tested the lock back on that to fail with as much force as possible, including like hanging stuff off of the handle while oh, the blade's wow. locked. Yeah. I was disappointed in the drop close. I, I was hoping it would fall. It's never be closed. It, there's no <laughs> midpoint on a cold steel. It is closed or open. The thumb stud's easy though. Check it out. <laughs> Pocket clip is ambidextrous, by the way. Yeah. This, so you lefties out there can have this one and work it. Yeah. Grip it like a Grip it like you were gonna use it. It just feels good, right? Yeah. Your yes. thumb falls in the right spot. Even your little baby hands on there are working great. Cold stills are designed to work. Whatever that may be, including stabbing a pig head. <laughs> or a meat shoe. Or a meat shoe. <laughs> what, was the pri <laughs> what was the pri- Hashtag meat shoe. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> what was the price point on this um, again? <laughs> $38. Well, so 40 bucks. at all. For thirty-eight dollars, you can go stab a meat shoe. Meat shoe. You have to make your own meat shoe, so you might spend an extra ten bucks. I don't on think meat. I want to make a meat shoe. Just a shoe <laughs> filled with meat. Sometimes I just put meat in my shoes. <laughs> later, later so while you're much. snacking, you're just like in your uh, <laughs> change your socks. That's so why I got to change your socks so much. <laughs> that is Pull just a meat from your boot. It works, you know. It's a fantastic knife. It reminds me. The blade saw reminds me of the Vicaro. Like a stubbier, thicker Vaquero. Mm -hmm. They used to do a, a knife back in the day. Um, they still make one, but the, they had one called the Vaquero XL, and it was this big, so, long, wavy blade. Oh, that sounds fun. Um, it reminds me a little bit of that, only much, much thicker. So this one, okay, I'm on a Fisher Price kick today. Apparently. So do you remember like the little Fisher Price characters? They had the um, they had the Rangers set. They had like their own cart. They would go out. They would uh, you know it was like lumberjacks. They had a parachute. They had a firefighter. All I the know Fisher exactly Price. What you're that, okay, about. right? Yeah. So one of the guys had a knife, and this is what the knife reminds me. Okay. It reminds me of that bush knife that. that the little guy had. So I'm kind of digging this. Because it takes me back to my Fisher Price days. It's a cold steel. That's when your Fisher Price guy stabs the other Fisher Price guy that you have a problem. He's got a cold steel sometimes you got to. That's right. I don't know how I feel about this episode right now. Let we me just tell you something. My brother and I played a game when we were kids okay. with our Fisher Price and the cars, right? And here's what we would do. You'd load up the cars. 
each person, we would sit about 20 feet apart from each uh -huh. other, right? We would okay. then roll the cars towards each other. They would bang into each other. Then we would play... Car crash victims. No, we would car crash inspector. It was more like Fight Club. You would decide sure. who lived and who died. Lived, who died. Yeah. Yes. So when little blonde head Fisher Price guy was thrown from the vehicle, he died. He died. That's yeah. right. But this guy that was still in his seat and just kind of leaning over a little bit, he was fine. We did it with G.I. Joe. Yeah, same thing. Yep. G. Downstairs, just see how good their restraints were in the cars. Right. Usually not very good. No. Their seatbelts didn't work no. well. Don't let either one of them babysit. Yeah. And then as you got older, and you bought the rockets that were modular. Oh, yes. G.I. Joe guy in the rocket. That's right. He didn't survive anything. That's right. That <laughs> His parachute it. did not deploy. <laughs> So now we know how you guys came to have this job. That's right. That's right. It made us experts on knives. That That's is right. exactly it. it. Yeah. Uh, the next one on our list is, is I mean, guys, people swear by the collision. I know you keep coveting that. I want it really bad. That's the first yeah, time I we like held one, one though, right? We heard about this. Yes. We hear about these all the time. This is a mini Kalishnikov from Boker Plus. This one's my favorite. <clears throat> and it's a Tanto. I know. That is the most fantastic thing on the table to me Johnson, today. Johnson, focus it in and I'll show you about guys. Are you more than the cold steel? Yes. Yes, the action that. on it was great. The action on it is amazing. So mm -hmm. this is an automatic Kalashnikov Mini. Mm -hmm. Tanto blade, uh, 2.5 inch, uh, AUS 8 Tanto, uh, has a black coating. Um, it's a .12 inch blade thickness, so it's mm -hmm. not a not a overly thick blade. It uh, really cuts down on the weight. Um, point what? Let's see, .12 inch. Yeah, so it's an eighth. Yeah, basically, ba basically. Uh, push button auto opening, milled aluminum handles, and about six inches overall. And the cutest little pocket clip. Look at yep. that. It's got a little wave to it. Yep. Uh, we were talking about earlier. Someone is ex excited <laughs> about that as I am. I need you all to get on my. No, no, I'm, I'm. It's actually I'm with it's it. actually ambidextrous as well because you got the screw hole. People who carry these swear by them. You said it earlier, and you were so right. Did you just laugh at screw hole? I would never. <laughs> Let me show you this action up close, John. I'm gonna keep it down here for a second. Let's see if I can do it. Maybe I could do it in camera. That will help. The blade left the screen. It, is it was so, so fast. hard, guys, to look at the camera and do this part. Yeah, I mean, it is serious. Yeah. There's okay. nothing. Every time I'm in the showroom, somebody goes, "Where's the autos?" I start pointing out to the autos that are. We keep them at each counter where sure. they go now. So you have the autos at Kershaw. You have the autos at Microtech. At Boker, the wherever. one, regardless, they always want to say, "Where are the Bokers?" I want to see the Kalishnikovs. Yeah, and that's what it is. Because I tell you what, that's. Uh, it's a heck of a knife. I hear this all the time in the showroom too, and you were out there when the guy told us we were trying to sh help a guy who has uh, severe arthritis in his yes. hands. Yes. And we were wanting him to show him some one hand openers, like sure. clippers and that little buck red point, and he goes, well, this one works fine for me, and he pulls out a Kalashnikov. Yeah. Automatic knife, so if your hands... You Watch that. Yeah. Well, you know, if you didn't both stare at me, no one would have known it happened. It could have just <laughs> went right by. <laughs> right through your finger. <laughs> Alexander Kalishnikov. It. You're it fine. Cut. It I know. Touched. She's been touched it by touched a knife. It. I've been touched by an angel. <laughs> <laughs> the angel of death called the Kalishnikov. The Kalishnikov. Duh. Yeah, I, I, I love this little knife. It um, loves you too. Yeah. And the bigger version just looks almost exactly like that. It's just bigger. That handle almost doesn't even feel like aluminum. No, it's because it's got that grip pattern in it. Yeah, that's great. Grip pattern. Just a just a good little, <laughs> just a good little knife. What was the price? I'm liking it. It's uh, not very much. It's forty bucks. <laughs> it's not very much. Yeah, it's forty bucks <laughs> his, for an automatic boker. Yes, that's mm -hmm. really kind of fantastic. At the action. Yeah. La la. Good stuff. Yep. Good stuff. Push it off all the way around. I like uh, this one. We'll show it. Then. Yeah. Show it. Get it. Hold it up. Tell everybody about it. What is it? Seriously. You're gonna do that too. It's brand new from the Rough Riders Titanium. It's a new one that they've added to the Rough Rider Titanium series. So we have a whole line of traditionals yeah. that are all titanium coated. You you did it's one a of these plays, right? So it has genuine black smooth bone handles with red underliners. Mm -hmm. Just like the rest of the titanium series. It's 440A on the blade with the titanium coating. But it's high polished. High polished. Yeah. yeah. See now you're that. calling, now you're remembering. <laughs> This one has spine work, which I think is awesome. Uh, yeah. This is a great little fixed blade EDC. Yeah. I, I, I love that. 
I'm trying to figure out like how how do they do that? Is this like a Oh, how do they do what? How do they do what? The the spine, flower? how they make the spine. It looks like flowers on it. Oh, so they're it's file work. And it. so that's yeah. I mean not to want to cut my hand here, but they're taking a filing system and so basically a file and you do that off yeah. and you smooth it out. You sand it. It's so pretty. And you go on each yeah. side. Ask Jared upstairs when you go, he's done some work of his own and it's gorgeous. And I tell Don't you. Go to Jared's. <laughs> I tell you the detail on that knife mm -hmm. for the price point is a bit ridiculous. Yeah, kind of. I mean it's this is thirteen dollars. Right. Comes with the leather sheath. It has tremendous detail. It does. I mean, it's a very beautiful knife. And it, it, being such a little small fixed blade is just kind of cute, oh, kind of yeah. fun to have, too. But it's so also kind of practical, too. I mean, if you wanted to carry that as, as an EDC, go you for could. it. could. Definitely And could. you can go horizontal with it. Yep. I think I would still make yep. a Kydex for it. Oh, yeah. But because that... Is, oh, sorry. No, you go ahead. That is a Kydex sheath where it locks in about right here mm -hmm. would be tremendous as a little pack knife. I think a lot of times people overlook a fixed blade as an EDC, and that would sure. give you the opportunity to have a fixed blade EDC. Yeah. I think a reason for that is because when you have a fixed blade, you have to have a sheath. It's, it's a lot right. more you're on right. here, and so you're trying to sit down and get in your car, especially yeah. if you put it on your right side, which is yeah. what I do. Right. Then when I go to get in the car, it's always trying to fight that, my seat belt. And but you know what? But this that, one being as small as it is, sure. perfect size. It's or even strapped to a backpack. All. Oh yeah, just to have on your backpack all the time, like on a strap. Oh my god, yeah. I used to turtle people's backpacks. Used to do what? Turtle them. How do you turtle a backpack? So you take. I'd be in school, and I would, you know, someone be paying attention. I'd like take their backpack away. I take everything out of it. I turn it inside out, and then you put everything back in it, and you zip it back up, and then you zip tie wow. that zipper to the desk. You had too wow. much time. I was gonna say. <laughs> Good. <laughs> There's Way a reason people time. start wearing like people start wearing their backpacks on them, so that starts to shine sure. into their pants or their chair, depending on just what kind of reaction you, do you want. Just make wow. you sit Later in front of the media. class. Don't cross swag. That wasn't <laughs> happening. <laughs> but that's a that's a fantastic little knife. Thirteen dollars. Hey, yeah. It really matches that Highland. What was the series. twenty-five dollar we had on the table? Like the twenty-five dollar was the was the Kershaw. Was the Kershaw. So still under half a Benjamin, you can have both of those. Yeah. That's, for Rizzle, yeah. you should do it. That is cool. I that really like nice. that one. I, I do too. Let's yeah. hit the last one we've got on the table. Well, the last one is uh, Purdy. Fantastic. Get it. It's it's uh, it's, it's a classic. Rocks. Just short. Not a classic, yes. actually. No, this one is like the stripped down version of the classic. It's yeah. a walker. It used to be. Um, did I put the note on there of what it used to be as? I can't remember. No. Um, it there was a, it's like called the Woodsman or something like that. Yeah. And it now they've made name. it the walker because it just is stripped down to your bare essentials. Yeah. You've got a spear point blade. A you've got a saw. You've got the... Um, uh, cap lifter screwdriver. Cap lifter screwdriver. Um, you've got tweezers and you've got the toothpick. Yeah. It is stripped down to be as light as it possibly can. Oh, excuse it's me. Like a, you did not know that? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Yes. And tweezers are yes, on the other side. Yes, yes, Hold on. Hang I need to see the other. Here, What's going on let's here? close these down so you don't kill yourself with it. Have some I'm just face. saying, I have ripped myself. The saws, uh, the the saws, saws in real. Victorinox are no joke. Tweezers. Yep. Oh, excuse me. You and did not know that. That is cool. That's true on almost every single Swiss Army. Even the little yeah, tiny ones. Yeah, even the little tiny ones have tweezers and a toothpick. Oh yep. my god, I could do my eyebrows. Do everything <laughs> with this. I'm wow. I'll find it. Yeah. Look, that matters a lot more than you think. <laughs> I mean, I think about my eyebrows all the time. But yeah. I do. Especially when I have like the long, crazy old ones. About to say. <laughs> especially when they're growing out for no reason. For like us, at, at mine and Jason's age, it's ear hair. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. You get the stray one that's coming off the side. It's like, hello. Yeah. You're like, what is that? Is it a bug? Can't relate. Yeah, Sorry, guys. Most yeah. every one of these have that, uh, yeah. have that there. What is the price point on this? This is an $18 knife. Yeah. 18 bucks. It's but, almost like a tinker. Without got, some of the extra stuff, and got a little bigger, right? Because yeah. I think I think a tinker is a little bit smaller. Maybe a than little that. bit, yeah. But you're talking about put that on your backpack. You've got That's everything great. you need. It's light. It's easy to carry. It's a Swiss it's Army cute. knife. Come on. Put it in your car. Sure. Mm -hmm. And especially for eighteen dollars, buy three of or four. Of course, it's them. going on your keychain. There's a keychain thing yeah. on I, it. What I else was I supposed to do with it? I don't know. Plug Made it. in Switzerland. It's got that red 
composition handle that carefully is the rage. Feel that blade carefully. Just touch it. I'm not kidding. They're sharp as all get out. As all get out. That's how I, I know have myself. Literally, just by accident. Oh yeah. And it leaves a nice little teeth mark. Is across. there anything more classic than a red Swiss Army knife? No. Or recognizable. Sure. So if I mean, you, you see that handle with that symbol, you know what it is. Before I ever even started with anything with knives, I always knew it was Swiss Army knife. Right. right. It is one of those products that is easily recognized worldwide. You say Swiss Army knife, everybody thinks a little red sure. handle pocket knife. Where, yeah. where is the toothpick and the tweezers? Where are they? Is it like back They're actually there? contained in <laughs> the handle. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand. They slide down. They're in, in the, the scale. They're in the scale itself. Well, so they're between the liner and this, and in the scale. Yeah. Here, close this up before you dangerously cut yourself. Dab that in your eye. <laughs> okay. So you have scale. You have a liner, and it lays inside the scale on top Flat of the liner. The liner yeah. well, that's cool. You want to know like the most dangerous thing that me and actually one of my one of my friends do. I'm with not guys. sure that I do. I think you do. You'd be very surprised. I use like when I put eyelashes on, and they get glued together. I'll take the knife and I'll just go into a mirror and I'll just pull them apart. That's frightening. Please don't do that around us. <laughs> yeah, that's. I wouldn't do it around you do guys. That at home. Like, oh, don't do that. And that's when I'm going to get. That's stabbed. when you're saving yourself. Yeah. Before I do anything that's like extravagant, I always say, don't scream. If you scream, that's what's gonna hurt me. Not me doing oh, this. Wire stripper as well on this thing. Cap lifter, yeah. screwdriver. Wire strippers, you got a wire no stripper? No wire stripper, wire stripper. Dang. But if you buy the right Swiss Army knife, you do, you will get a, 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 a corkscrew. Yes, <laughs> yes. I think he was catching what we were what we were talking about. She said in a blooper reel, yes. wire, wine stripper. Wine stripper. You know, when I sat there and thought about it, I really started thinking that was a thing. I was like, yeah, it like strips a thing off the side of it. Sure. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it could be. So I let's hit through these myself. one more time just so everybody knows what this was here. We had the honey badger. Which you would put over on the side by itself. Oh, I was why? just getting it out of the shot is what I was doing. What? Why? The rest of the no, I have to pay attention to the things over here. The things and the other things. He messed up and he's not price. a Price. <laughs> price on honey badger. Uh, $36. I think. Kershaw Misdirect. Yes, yeah. $36. Misdirect's 25 Yep. We had the Kershaw Misdirect, 25 We had the CRKT Ruger. Yep, 35 Which was the trajectory. Oh, he, and that one is, what did you say? 35 35 35 Bush Ranger Light. 38 bucks. 38 bucks. Kalishnikov Mini. 40 40 I think this one's going to be English. I'm not is sure it? he's going to, he's doing different accents for each one. The Rough Rider Titanium. 13 Small Hunter, 13. I just can't believe that's 13. That's ridiculous. And this one's ridiculous, too. Yes. Victorinox Walker. $18. Not to be confused a with zombies, pick. which is yes. a word that does not exist in The a Walking Dead. Pick and no, tweezers. Yes. Yeah. Guys, all of those things are available on smkw.com, our Smoky Mountain Knife Works website, and all of them are under half a Benjamin, under 50 bucks. Go check them out. Uh, do the knives thing. Go hit knives. Then on the side, you're going to see... Some listings for price points. Yeah. You can go on there and you can change that down. If you are, if you are, you know, tricky with this thing, you can go under ninety nine. If you look up in your URL, you can change the ninety nine to fifty. Yep. And you'll see everything under fifty. Yeah. And then you can also sort it by price point at that point, and yeah. you know, you could really get two of like any of these and still be under a Benjamin. Pretty, yeah. Under a Benjamin, not yeah. half a Benjamin though. Uh, you can get two of those for uh, eighty bucks. Yeah. Absolutely. Which is a little I ridiculous for the kind of yep. technology that's in that. So, if you're not liking, sharing, or subscribing to this show, make sure you are. Make sure you're, you're following evil. us on Facebook. Make sure you're following <laughs> us on Instagram. Make sure you're following us on Twitter. Twitter? 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 Yeah, Man, you, Twitter. I'm just, you're shunned. You're Twitter? out. <laughs> that's Jason. That's Mouthy Nathan Excuse in the me. middle, a.k.a. Mouthy Swags. <laughs> I'm Andy, and this has been another this is episode. Alfred. This has been another episode Alfred. of Guys Talk Knives. We'll catch you next time.